Hello everyone, welcome to part 43 of Laravel 10 series in which we are, cut, uh, we are first creating the admin panel and uh, this is the last video of the categories module uh, and we are going to work on the roles and permission in this video and from the next video we will start working on the product module. So uh, I want to tell you that here uh, we are going to uh, give the access to the sub admins for the roles and permissions. The admin is going to give the access to the sub admin so that the sub admin can able to manage the categories. Okay, features of the categories like view, edit, and and full access. Okay, like we have uh, we have given to the CMS pages. In the same way, we are, we will give uh, for the categories module as well. Okay, so first of all, we are going to modify this and we will show here the categories as well along with the view view edit and full access okay after that uh, the admin is going to give the access to the sub admin like uh, he can give to the view access or view edit access or full access uh, means complete access to the sub admin so that the sub admin can able to see view and edit delete anything on the categories module uh, or if he can uh, give only view access then only the sub admin can able to view that uh, that particular module that particular categories module okay so that thing we are going to do so first of all i'm going to add here the categories pages in the update roles blade file okay so let's open the update roles okay so here uh, like we have earlier added the cms pages module and now i'm going to add the categories module as well okay okay so here we are going to add one more if condition and here you can see we have earlier added the if condition for cms pages now we are going to add the if condition for the categories module as well here we are going to add here the categories okay and also we are going to modify this uh, cms pages to the categories like this okay so here also we are going to copy uh, this uh, particular CMS pages uh, div okay so I'm going to copy this one and we're going to repeat here like this and here also I'm going to add here the categories okay so here also I'm going to add the categories okay so here also I'm going to add the categories as well so I will check here that the separate module must have been added here you can see the categories module has also added okay along with the CMS pages so uh, now we are going to modify the uh, 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 the categories function in the category controller okay so this function we are going to modify and we are going to add the permission for the admin sub admin for the uh, for the categories in the same way like we have done for the cms pages i'm going to open that so that i uh, i'm not required to do this uh, thing from the scratch okay we are just uh, uh, going to uh, open this uh, cms pages controller i'm going to see which controller file we have used okay so controller admin i'm going to open the cms pages controller file and here i'm going to copy this complete module okay that will help us okay so i'm going to paste it uh, here in the categories module and here i'm going to make changes here uh, for the for the categories for the categories okay okay so here uh, we are going to make changes here like cms pages uh, we are going to remove and we are going to add here the categories module count and along with that we are going to see the other changes like we have done the pages module uh, see we are going to add here the categories module okay instead of uh, pages module we are going to add here the categories module and this categories module we are going to return here okay like this okay so now we are going to check uh, uh, everything else seems to be fine here okay so now i'm going to open the categories blade file where we are going to uh, give the condition so that the sub admin can able to assess the feature that 
the admin uh, will provide okay so here also i'm going to open that uh, cms pages module once again in which we have already uh, cms pages blade file in which we are already given all the permissions that we require okay so only thing only difference is instead of page module we are going to use the categories module okay so like uh, the permission we have given uh, here uh, if the uh, permission is uh, both uh, edit as well as full access then only we can give access to this one okay so here we are going to add here instead of pages module we are going to add here the categories module here like this okay so uh, and here also uh, we are going to give access like uh, uh, see edit and full access here also so same access we are going to give uh, here also okay in case of this one uh, okay in both cases we are going to give this access as well so i'm going to add this condition here also and and if like this and finally we are going to see the full access okay for the full access we are going to give uh, uh, this delete only if the uh, if the admin is going to have the full access okay sub admin is going to have the full access so only we are going to give this this permission okay fine so now we are going to check here i am going to give permission to the sub admin admin is going to give the permission to the sub admin see we have opened the john singh uh, sub admin here you can see uh, once again i will go to the sub admin and will uh, do from the scratch like the uh, i want to give permission to the john singh like this admin want to give the specific sub admin permission specific uh, specific categories module position to this sub admin so he can click here in lock button and he can just give the assess categories assess permission and nothing else so i'm going to log in with the john singh account in the separate window okay so i will log in and we'll see i'm going to log in john at the rate of admin.com one two three four five six i can click on remember the password as well um i need to see uh what is the john okay i'm going to update the password john singh password as well okay if in case it is not working i am going to give this same um, one two three four five six password for the john singh as well now i'm going to try okay so let's see uh john singh once again i'm going to try to log into the john singh account okay so let's see yes this time we able to log in now i'm going to see the categories only uh, okay so few things we need to add here uh, like for the category module like uh, admin role we need to add here okay so it is saying the admin uh, role model is missing so i'm going to add the admin role so i'm going to refresh once again and see it is saying to add the auth so i'm going to add the auth as well okay so i'm going to refresh once again and now it is working fine see this feature is restricted for you it is coming for the for the categories module for john singh but we have given the view assess at least okay i'm going to see check the assess once again yes we have provided the view assess so it means that there is some issue maybe so i'm going to check once again categories module count sub admin admin see here here we have uh, done around categories will come up here so make sure that when uh, once you will copy that you will copy it carefully okay uh, so i'm going to see that page must not be uh, so it's it's fine it's the session uh, session uh, variable page but other than that session variable there is nothing okay so now i'm going to save and we'll try once again and the view assess is given to this sub admin and here you can see the view assess is here okay also we are going to move uh, we will add the condition for the add category as well okay so i'm going to give the condition here for the add category like we have given in the cms pages as well you can see okay so the same condition we are going to add for the add as well okay so i'm going to copy this one and we'll also uh, give it here uh, in div or wherever you want to give uh, you can give it here as well okay so i'm going to give it here uh, and if and i'm going to see now see uh, now add category is also not visible because only view access is given to this sub admin john singh is having only view access of the category so he can't able to add category he can't able to edit he can't able to delete because he is only having the view access so now suppose the admin gives the 
uh, view edit access as well okay and click on submit so now this uh, now the john singh is having the view as well as the edit access i'm going to refresh and we'll see yes now the john singh he can able to add the category can able to make its status active or inactive and can also edit it okay so now the john singh is having more access uh, that uh, the admin provides to the john singh and john singh is our sub admin okay so the john singh is having the add edit access as well okay so now in case the uh, admin provides the full access to the john singh so now this time the john singh will have the complete access i'm going to refresh once again and we'll see the john singh is now having the complete access john singh can add the category john singh can make its act, uh, status active or inactive john singh can edit and john singh can delete the category as well so finally the delete access is also given to the john singh as the admin provides the full access to the john singh okay so like this we will add this rules and permission for every module of the admin panel for the admin uh, for the every module of the e-commerce admin panel okay uh, so so this is the end of the of the categories module you can see that we have done everything we have able to add the uh, subcategories to the categories and we able to add the url for the uh, and we able to do the add edit functionality okay so uh, almost everything we have completed now from the next video we will start working on the products module okay products module we are going to start from the next video so stay tuned for that and if you want to get the source code up till this video then you can always join the stack developers youtube channel you can go youtube.com stack developers and always subscribe always subscribe the channel for more updates so that you will not miss anything so always subscribe and you can always join i recommend that you must join the channel so that you will get the source code that you can compare at your end and you will get the full score whenever you will stuck anywhere i am going to help you okay uh, you can contact me via email you can send me message on my facebook account okay just you are required to uh, join the channel okay so that's all for now have a nice time goodbye